someone talked about um, the problem with being bi and monogamous is no one believes you're bi. If you're monogamous, it doesn't really matter that you're bi at that moment because you're with the person you're with. And so if you're with a person of the opposite gender, people are going to assume that you're straight. And if you happen to be mated at that time with a person of the apparently same gender, people are going to think you're gay. So you are where you are at that moment. So you may identify as bi, but if people only see you with one partner, it doesn't really matter if they think you're bi since you're not actually trying to get a party going on. Unless you decide to do that at some point, but that's a special variant of monogamy, and it's only, it's only mono group sex is only monogamous if both the monogamous partners are there, and they both get what they want, right? Shall yes, we, you know, I, I, could to I could totally work with yeah. that. Yes, yeah, I yes, think so. yes, I think so. And actually, and what, what fun thing some monogamous couples like to do that I know about, they go, because they like being around sexually open-minded people, they go to a swing party and flirt and maybe do a little touchy-feely, but they only have sex with each other, but yeah. they have sex with each other in front of people, which sure. for them is as good, so it's, it's all the heat of transgression with none of the danger and worry and, and bad feelings about actually crossing that line. So what's really important, and you know, you're always been about this, what is right for you? Yeah, yeah. And do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I wrote about that, that swing club situation and exhibitionism for the shy. Like, do, do you want to go outside and have sex? Well, guess what? Most other people, some people want you to do that, but many people don't want you to do that, and then the police come. <sighs> Ruin your weekend. But there are people gathered together in groups who want to see you have sex with your partner. You right. don't have to have sex with them unless that's negotiated. So. Mm -hmm. So, and, Liz, and Lizzo wrote something, so Boots was saying he's never had a girlfriend, and Lizzo saying they're overrated, poor sweetheart. No. Oh, no, they're not, darling, but you have to pick the right one, and you know that. Oh, what? golly, so yes, yeah, so Melissa, you and Luna Tigre do the, um, do the, do the, uh, 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 talk amongst yourselves. I'm sure uh, Luna would love to hand over his boxers to you. Male bisexual is put in a unique box because there is the assumption that you are a, censored man anyway, women are not even to be near you. What is, yeah, to talk more than You know, you. I think that many bi women would far prefer to have a bi male partner than a heterosexual male partner. I think, I think that, that a particular kind of straight woman is afraid of bi guys, but there are plenty of women who are not afraid of bi men. And um, it's challenging to try to hide bisexuality and then find a straight -er woman because then, of course, you've got all the problems that are associated with that. That is one of the reasons that straight women are so so, so worried about and nervous sure. about by men to begin with. For sure. And also... So it, honesty it, is the best policy in a relationship. It always is. Uh, Carol gave me my best line ever, and I, do, I say it all the time, and um, put the filter up first. So I knew when I left my husband that I had certain yeah. non-negotiables, that I would be single with cats until I was dead in, if I didn't have at least a certain set of things for my partner. Just, you know what, no, I'm old enough now to know this, I don't care how cute you are, if you're this way uh, around sexuality, can't be with you. So, yeah. so put the filter up first. If you know I'm holding out for a bi guy, hold out for, now, not just any bi guy will do, you have to also like him as a human, yeah. but if you know that <laughs> bisexuality is one of the attributes that you would like in a potential mate, put that out there, because the three guys that are gonna go, ew, and the fourth one's gonna go, really, oh, thank God. Yeah. I thought I, I thought no one was ever going to like me. And then yeah. you have to then, now just because two people are gay does not mean they're going to be able to have a relationship. And right. just because your potential partner is bi doesn't mean he or she would be right for you, but at least you're in the right pond as opposed, don't go fishing for trout in a bass pond. <laughs> it never works because it never works. So put the filter up first. Hey, greedy, you're not greedy, Luna, you just want it all. That reminds me of the question that we saw a little bit ago. We're scrolling down because you guys are talking okay, so, so much. It's right. awesome um, about the hypersexuality question. And I, I missed that one. We've gotten you? so much. We've gotten so much like Tiger Woods, a sex addict, and every. Ooh, I, the fact is, this has always been true that some people wanted to have more sex than other people. Some people want to have sex more outside of a monogamous relationship or a supposedly monogamous one than they do inside, it either as a, as a result and a reaction to the intimacy of the relationship or just because they have the opportunities. And I, you just have yeah. to try to match up your desire level. But if you can't be honest you about your desire level because the culture says you can't have that desire, so once you get married, you have to be monogamous, you have to be faithful. 
and I can't admit that actually I'm a big horn dog um, and need to fuck around a lot. But Greta Christina, the blogger, said that she liked Tiger more after reading his text because she recognized him as a fellow kinky person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fellow. Exactly right. And she said, if someone talked to me at a party, I'd find that very hot. And yeah. so people outside being horrified. I want to hold you down. I want to choke you. It's like, but I like it when you. Ernest holds yeah. me down and chokes me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our guest tonight has been Carol Queen. You can find her at Center for Sex and Culture, sexandculture.org, or also carolqueen.com. And she also blogs at the Good Vibrations site. And don't forget, please go to sexwife.ne. It has launched and sign up for the free goodie. I think you'll like it. The 10 things people do to ruin their sex life. <laughs> and next week, we need questions from you um, about anal eroticism because next week we have as our guest the one, the only, Tristan Terramino, who is the queen of the butt. Uh, Lord bless her. I have actually used her anal training technique and now know I, I am a greedy anal slut on a regular basis. So if it works for me, it can work for you. I'm Nina Hartley. Be sexy, be wise, be sex-wise, and I'll see you next week.